So we're in CM Reap, obviously. This is during the daytime, as you can see, it's still pretty busy. People, I think we've done it. I think I've found cowboy hats. We've got some cowboy hats behind me. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm overwhelmed, I'm overjoyed. Finally found one. Here we go. Say hello, so today. Hi. Uh, I've gone yeah. to play. I've gone. Happy days, sorted. So obviously this is the famous pub street, okay? This is the main tourist attraction, either pub street or anchor what? It's kind of dead at the minute, but overnight it will liven up, trust me. I will be doing a vlog later on as well, so you can actually see it overnight. So today, so today, so today, Owen. So we're just inside one of the small markets at the moment. Um, get out the sun as well because it is a hot day. But the lovely markets, good clothes, legit, you know what I mean? They uh, they will last you, you'll be surprised. Um, they're very good. And you've also got like a lot of merchandises as well, I'll show you them now. Um, paintings, you know, little Buddha statues, little wooden handcrafted elephants, anything that you want to take home to England or even keep here. Seamry probably is the best place to go to for your merchandise. So today, Bong. So today, I'm going to teach you some Khmer now as well because the one thing that will drive you insane when you come to Seamry is the tuk-tuk drivers no offense to them they're trying to make a living but they they are annoying in seeing reap they honest to god every time you walk in they'll stop tuk tuk no tuk tuk no tuk tuk no it's like oh my god go away you see one of these tuk tuk drivers okay all you say is ate okon kenyom dale ate okon kenyom dale okay no thank you, I'm walking. If they carry on following you, Jens Nai, go away. Okay? That's it. Don't be scared. Okay? They 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 do become annoying. Here's some fish. Um I think you either yeah, you probably sit down and you put your feet in, but it wouldn't surprise me if they fit eaten as well. It seems to be some kind of like fish market. We'll have a look. So today, so today, right, too crowded, too packed. Let's get out of here. 
So I don't know whether you've noticed, but the people here, they're not as friendly. They're not as friendly as they are in Svai. You know what I'm saying? They're not. And I don't know whether that's just because of there's just so many foreigners here that they just they just don't want to really know us as much. You know, I don't know whether we or maybe we've got a bad rep here. Probably have. We probably have got a bad rep with the amount of drinking we do here, you know. Um, but you know, I'm walking around the place, I'm like, hello, a lot of people are just ignoring me, which is fine, you, you know, I'm not offended, but it is interesting, but you'll notice this is one of the reasons the rural areas are good, they're very welcoming, you know, this is just tourists, it's not really Cambodia, it's fake, it's fake, it's not Cambodia, look, everyone's fucking foreigners everywhere, yeah, look, And if you, you know, you'll notice that the, you know, the restaurants are a lot more established, you know, they're a lot more Western. The food here is amazing, it is, it really is. And don't get me wrong, coming here, coming to see him read for a night out or for a visit is, is very good. And it's good for your mental health as well, you know, because just getting out and getting some Western food and having some dry, you know, a draft beer does go a long way. But living here for me, nah, no chance. It's not Cambodia, it's fake, yeah. Too many foreigners, too much alcohol, too much mainstream bullshit that I just don't like. Didn't like it in England, I don't like it here. But it is nice, you know, it, 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 it's beautiful. But yeah, it's the people that make the communities, you know. It's the people that make the places. Svai is good because it's a community. We all look after each other. There's nothing but love there, you know. You come here, it's a bit straight away. I'm just a bit like, eh, you know. So stay. So there's a bit of nature in Sea and Reap as well, especially on the outskirts, and you've got Anchor Watt. But all this little area here, I do like it. And when there's festivals on, there's lights everywhere and they'll have boats on the river. You know, there'll be um, like festive parties and it'll be jam packed. But again, it's one of the reasons it's, um, it's just my personal opinion, man. You know, I'm just not, it's not that I hate people. I just, I like nature, you know. There's a lot of stuff here for me that I don't I don't need, you know what I'm saying? There's stuff here that people want but they don't really need it. You know, it's quite it's quite modern. Um it's got a big expat community, the food's nice, the beer's great and it's cheap, you know, there's pub street, it's got a good nightlife, but if I was to live here, I'd just go <whistles> downhill straight away. So that's why I choose to stay in Svai. Even being here now, I'm just a bit like, you know, I, I don't even know what to do. I don't, I, I don't know what to vlog. I don't know what to show you. And I'm not happy with the cowboy hat. I, I, you know, I look like a scarecrow. I think as you can see as well, it can get quite chaotic, especially of a night. Um, and you'll see that later. But. Yeah, like I said, man, just a quick little vlog on seeing Reap for you. You all wanted to see it. This is it. But this is the main, this is Pub Street. This is the main tourist attraction. Like I said, this place, apart from Phnom Penh, I'm about to eat at one of my favourite places just here. Um, it's a Greek restaurant. It's called um, Ilia, Ilia Greek Kitchen. And it is, it's a lovely place located in Siem Reap, just on the corner of Pub Street. But these are the expat areas for you, you understand? There's just too many foreigners and it's kind of, you know, ruined Cambodia in my opinion. You know what I mean? These places, Pub Street, just booze. And there is, there's other stuff that you can do here. You can get up to no good at Pub Street. You really, really can, trust me. And it's ruining Cambodia and it's just not for me. You know, I couldn't live here because it's just, it's fake. I come to Cambodia to get away from all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? 
That's why I absolutely love Spy. It's a community. We all look after each other. There's nothing but love and support. You understand where they are. They seem to just want to take your money and it's just being capitalised and it's just a big money machine. So it's a good place to visit and maybe have a few drinks, you know, uh, maybe go to a festival, see Anchor Watt, definitely. But living here for me, uh, I tell you, I tell you, I can I'm about to go inside and absolutely demolish everything because I've not had a Western meal in about six months, okay? So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this anyway. Ocuncharan, Jumbri Blair. Look after your mental health. Please like, share and subscribe for more content. And thank you very much. Goodbye.